What's going on guys, I'm the Walrus Jedi, and in today's video I will be reviewing the last book in the Throne Trilogy, The Last Command, by Timothy Zahn, which was published by Bantam Spectra April 1993, and it takes place nine years after the Battle of Yavin. If you like these kinds of videos, then please consider liking and subscribing and hitting the notification bell for more Star Wars book reviews in the future. There will be spoilers for this book, so consider that your warning. Dramatis Personae, Luke Skywalker, Han Solo, Princess Leia, Lando Calrissian, Chewbacca, C-3PO, and R2-D2. Talon Card, human leader of a smuggler group. Mara Jade, she is a human and Card's lieutenant, former Hand of the Emperor, Grand Admiral Thrawn, he is a Chiss and the current leader of the Imperials, Captain Gilad Pelion. He is the human captain of Thrawn's flagship, the Chimera. jor Us Sabaoth. He is the insane clone of Dark Jedi Joris Sabaoth. Kabarak is a he is a Nogri warrior. And then Garm Bel Iblis. He is a human and the former senator of Corellia and a general of a rebel cell. The Last Command. After his victory of the battle for the Katana fleet, Grand Admiral Thrawn continues his plan to destroy the New Republic. Impatient, Jorus Sabaoth sends to Leia at the Battle of Ukio, and he sends the Imperial Battle Group after the Millennium Falcon. Thanks to the Kraken Twist, which allowed safely transmitting hyperspace coordinates to departing ships while communications were under enemy monitoring, the Falcon and Rogue Squadron, escorting them, got away. Luke tries to find the Imperial cloning facility. On Burkest, he meets with smuggler Talon Card to get him to sell information on the Imperials to the New Republic. On Coruscant, Mara Jade is recovering from her injuries gained in the Katana fleet battle. With a conversation with Winter, Leia's aide, Mara identifies the Alderanian as Targeter, a code name used that she used briefly back during the Civil War. This leads Winter to digging into Mara's past. Luke tracked the cloning trail to Poderis, a planet in the Inner Rim. The Imperials try to capture Skywalker with Ysalamiri, but this fails as Luke proves to be an elusive foe. He reaches the spaceport and leaves Poderis, only having a minor skirmish with the Chimera, and jumps to hyperspace. After some X-Wing trouble, he decides to go to Honegger to, for repairs. Uh, the Nagri offer him aid, and he sees the Nagri's new land that they had planted, that Leia had helped create inside a hill. Whilst on Honegger, Luke gets a vision of Leia and the twins in mortal peril. Leia also gives birth to Jaina, and Jason Solo. On Trogan, Card sets up a meeting with other smugglers to form an alliance to follow the clone trail and learn the location of the cloning facility to sell to the New Republic. Back on Coruscant, Leia talks with Mara where she reveals her status as former Hand of the Emperor. This is when an Imperial Commando squad to take Leia and the twins arrives. Mara, along with Lando and Garmbel Iblis, face them. They stop the Imperials, but the leader of the Imperial team identifies Mara as an Imperial agent who let the squad into the palace in the first place. This caused her to be uh, placed under arrest. But Leia breaks her out, and Luke, Mara, Han, Lando, Chewie, and the droids go to uh, Wayland, as Mara knows the way to the cloning facility. Leia has ten Nogri to serve as her bodyguards on Coruscant while they go do this, so... That should give Han and Chewie at least some comfort. Thrawn then attacks Coruscant, with Sabaoth leaving for Wayland prior to this. Thrawn launches cloaked asteroids into Coruscant's atmosphere, while he only actually launches 22 asteroids. He also launches 256 false, basically nothing, to throw the New Republic off. So they're basically running around looking for that. And, you know, not, you know, preparing for war and trying to defeat Thrawn. And this forces 
Coruscant to have the shields on permanently, which cuts off the traffic to and from the planet. Bell Iblis is given command of Coruscant defense. They figure out who or what Delta Source is, and they remove it. Mara and Luke and the rest arrive at Wayland. They are attacked by Garls while hiking to Mount Tantus. Over the course of several days, as Mount Tantus is far away from where they had to set the Falcon down, Luke teaches Mara the ways of the Force. Lacking a crystal grav field trap to aid in the cloaked asteroid removal, the New Republic enacts a plan to get one. They will go for the one at Bill Bringy, but to throw the Imperials off, the real target, they will hit Tangreen, which also has one. Little do the New Republic know that Card and his Smuggler's Alliance have decided to go and steal a crystal grav field trap from Bill Bringy to sell to the New Republic. Card goes to Coruscant to get Mara back, but he learns she isn't there and goes with Leia when she goes to Wayland due to a vision of Luke in danger. Our heroes find Mount Tantus and get in. Luke and Mara go to the throne room to look for a self-destruct, as the goal is to destroy the cloning facility. And Han, Lando, and Chewie set up explosives in the cloning rooms. Luke and Mara go to the throne room and are met by Sabioth. That's when a shadowy figure comes out of the shadow, and it is revealed to be Luke, a clone of Luke Skywalker. And they got this clone from the hand lost on Cloud City. And it is using the lightsaber that was also lost on Cloud City. Luke and the clone duel. Sabayoth loses it and causes large portions of the ceiling to fall. Mara gets a lightsaber and kills the clone of Luke Skywalker. And endures some lightning from Sabayoth. Then, then she finishes him off. Our heroes leave with Mount Tantus being destroyed. At the Battle of Bilbringi, Thrawn is killed by Rook, his Nogri bodyguard, as the no Nogri rise up and stop serving the Empire. Later on Coruscant, Luke gives Mara his old lightsaber, and that is where the story ends. What I liked. Uh, Luke and Mara in this book, their dynamic is it's continuing to grow and increase. And, and you know, by the end, she's not like, oh, I hate Luke Skywalker must kill him. It's, I'd say they're becoming friends now. Uh, Talon Card, um, I really like Talon Card as a character in this trilogy. Didn't expect to like him so much, but yeah, he's he's actually one of my favorites of the new characters, I guess you could say. And I really liked the ending for this book. I was on the edge of my seat. I I really was excited, you know, reading page to page to see how this. Uh, this trilogy ends and I'm not really disappointed too much and now what I didn't like um the ending it did feel a little maybe I don't know maybe I would have liked it fleshed out a little bit more I don't know but yeah so I guess you could say I both liked the ending and wanted more so maybe that's ideal because it wasn't just overwhelming and had event after event after event happening to the, like there's way too much going on but I would also say it wasn't like super lacking. It was, I think it was almost in that sweet spot. So, but I would have liked a little bit more, um, of a confrontation. That's a little less, it honestly kind of felt a little bit like the confrontation in Return of the Jedi, where Luke is basically helpless. It's up to other characters to save the day. He, his Jedi skills don't really come into use, which is a little disappointing as, you know, in Return of the Jedi, it makes sense. He hasn't been a Jedi very long, and he's going up against the Emperor. But now it's been years. He He's had some training. I don't know, but, well, I'd give this book an 8.5 out of 10. It was a really good book. I, like I said, I was anxiously waiting to see what happened after every page in the back half of the book. What did you think of Last Command? Which of the Throne trilogy did you like best? Heir to the Empire, Dark Force Rising, or The Last Command? Let me know in the comment section down below. And now you can watch my Dark Force Rising review on the top left, or my Heir to the Empire review, which is on the bottom left. Remember to like and subscribe. Feel good until next time. Thanks for watching.